uh, to this princess from another kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, very well. We're going to see if Partridge can be dethroned here uh, by the Lightning Mouse himself. Z versus Partridge, winner's quarters on Final Destination. And we're going to start out, Z's going to start out with the aggression. You'll notice that Partridge will go for a few turnups. Um, he won't risk his life for him, but I like that he'll go for him and he'll take the opportunity to use him to his advantage. Well, def definitively against Pikachu, it'll be harder to, uh -huh. pull, to pull one without being punished. That was uh, some great aerial combos followed by a Thunder to get that. And unfortunately, Partridge does have the, the unfortunate air SD. Air um, you cannot air dodge off stage um, and expect to come back. Uh, if you don't have a great recovery. If you're not Rob or... <laughs> yeah, if you're not Rob or Villager, you might not be coming back from that. And that's what we saw right there. Z only has 79% on his first stock. Uh, he can play a little bit safer. Uh, he does like to keep aggressive, keep his opponent on his toes, um, and see what they do to respond to that. And a great forward smash will get this almost to a lap at this point. And right now, uh, it's looking like Daisy's just trying to struggle to find any footing she can. Um, but Pikachu is so fast, just staying on yep. top of her. Uh, Z going off stage, but not committing to anything, uh, not wanting to get uh, gimped by Partridge there. He will get punished for using that dash attack, but that back throw did not kill. And we're uh, going to see here, I think, if Pikachu is going to get his... Oh, and he didn't get the final hit from that forward, sp or from that forward air. And it uh, doesn't get punished for using that thunder I from Partridge, unfortunate. Yeah, thinking there's very little lag when Pikachu actually manages to hit himself yep. in the air. And that forward air does it. Un un yeah, that forward air is very strong, and Z is very good at using it on the ledge and using it as a aggressive option. Turn up isn't play, doesn't hit him. Z's very good at using it. Damage rack and killing mm -hmm. and space with it really well. You'll Back notice that, that Partridge likes to glide very uh, close to the platform or the stage uh, so that he, she can get in those aerial moves, but he just has to... Uh, right now, Partridge has to find a way to kill, get a smash attack, get a, a back air, get something to uh, to do that. And uh, side B, I don't think is it. Uh, Z is going to expect that to go. Uh, the forward air will take it. I think uh, Partridge's aerial options are going to be what's going to give him the advantage. Just has to get in and find a way to use them. I think that Pikachu's up up air. Um, I, don't oh, think, oh. I don't see Daisy juggling him very well. Z's, Z's really struggling to find that spike that exists on that down air now. I think he's going to be dangerous, very dangerous. I mean, he tried for it, but he still has a stock lead with 100% uh, on Partridge's last stock. He has a, some room to just find a move, wait for Partridge to commit to something a little bit too much, get enough smasher, get a forward oh, air. He, goes he tries to go for it, didn't get it. I love his use of quick attack. It's like, I'm here, but I'm still there. And it's very uh, unique and uh, shows a lot of skill with the player very precise using that quake to uh, extend the move yep all right i like that he uses he's using the neutral b will the forward <laughs> oh the up throw will not take it 166 percent on daisy pretty much anything at this point from pikachu can probably kill yep, yep. and that up throw will <laughs> finally take it at 172 percent uh good stuff there coming up from z taking the pretty convincing two stock uh, Partridge and Z do have a little bit of history uh, playing each other in Smash 4. I don't know if their habits are the, the same. I wouldn't say, I would say that they're playing differently. Playing off, uh, Z's definitely playing very, very well with this character. Partridge understands what he needs to do. Is Partridge always a Peach and or Yeah, Part okay. Partridge usually plays, um, plays Peach. I, I don't know if he'll change. He might go with Dark Samus. Um, but I think he's going to stick with the Daisy, yeah. I was going to say Peach, stay in Daisy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get used to her being here. Yeah. So let's see if she can find any footing in this game. She was uh, struggling to even be on the ground last game. We're going to go back to Smashville. I think a neutral stage for both of them. That platform is going to help out with uh, Z's aerial combos, I think, a little bit more than Partridge's, especially since Z was using a lot of aerial moves. But let's see what Partridge does in this game. Shielding the agility, but Z just continuing to lay on the aggression with those forward airs. Um, yeah, it, Daisy doesn't seem to have too many options against that. Her nair might be one. I haven't seen it thrown out. Um, uh, but getting some good, uh, good percentage right there and keeping Pikachu good. up in the air, getting the first percentage lead 
until uh, he got that hit. Great, got hit by that forward smash. smash. Great spacing by Z, amazing yep. down B. And takes that thunder, and unfortunately Partridge doesn't take it. I'm not sure if it was techable at that point, but uh, good stuff there from Z, getting a quick, quick early lead. Uh, Partridge using the air dodge to dodge that thunder, gets a grab. He definitely gets ahead in very jarring ways. Like you don't see it coming and it's suddenly thunder, you're dead. Yeah, I, I like the combos that, that Z does too. He's using the up tilt to, to the down air. He understands <laughs> that. Uh, and you will get punished by using the agility a little bit too much with that forward air from Peach. Uh, getting it back to a fairly even game. Partridge does not get the grab on that. Just barely misses the side B there. Keeping the pressure on, he doesn't want to let him breathe. He wants to take more firm control of the match. All right, and if and if Peach can't set up shop and can't pick turnips and can't keep the opponent at bay, then it becomes a difficult matchup for them. At least for someone like Z, who's always going to be so aggressive, uh, and with Partridge only having so many options available to him, it's going to be interesting to see how he adapts to that. Z makes it back. And that was an unfortunate forward smash there um, that hit Partridge. Uh, Z takes it with 73% on his second stock. Yeah, she recovered well, no lag, but the forward smash was waiting for her. That was 49% there and a great parry there for Partridge. 49% uh, there coming from just some up tilts and a thunder. Uh, good stuff. So much damage from Pikachu. Pikachu using that neutral B to his advantage. Good use of down smash. Mm -hmm. Catching that side dodge. There doesn't seem to be too much lag on that back air for Pikachu. Yep. Belly flops, but he's right back in it and on Daisy's heels. Right. Back throw does not kill, but close. The uh, side B from Pikachu uh, Ooh, clashing with the turnip. A punish right there. Yep. Been it. Up smash did not take it, but another one will. A Partridge has to be very careful because he has still has another stock to contend with if he wants to stay in winner's yeah. bracket. But unfortunately, yeah. Going deep again. Going very deep. And with that forward air, uh, Z will take it 2-0 against Partridge. And we'll move on to winner semis. Yeah, I think he, he played really tight. He was not going to let, like you said, not going to let the Daisy set up shop in any way. Right. Um, I would have liked to see a little more... Uh,